Hey y'all, hello pals, and welcome back to another video. I was actually planning on not filming a video for this week, just because I've been considering taking a little bit of a YouTube hiatus. We'll see how that goes, but I've gotten very, very busy lately with university and my allergies are wrecking havoc on my life, which means that I am sniffly 100% of the time, which means that finding time to film is actually very, very difficult at the moment, just because when I have time to film, I'm sniffly and that makes filming a lot of work. So just a little warning that there might be a YouTube hiatus coming up. I don't know what is going to happen at this point. The vlogs are not happening because I am out of the house literally all day every day, but we'll just see. For now, there is a video this week and today I'm going to be showing you what is in my school bag. In my previous of these videos, I had a little Longchamp Le Pliage like handbag I was using and I have now graduated to the exact same bag just in a big size because let me tell you i carry a lot of food with me that's the main reason why i graduated to a bigger bag but now i've also started carrying a lot more stuff so i'm gonna take you through what's in it at the moment so the first thing that i've been carrying around at the moment is this it is a clear kind of display book is that what you call them they just have like the uh sheet protector foldery things in them and I put my notes in them because I'm as you know doing my dissertation at the moment and what I'm doing for that right now is that I'm reading a lot of journal articles and taking notes on them so I do one sheet per journal article and the sheets I get out of this uh, which is literally just a narrow rule like pad of paper so that's hella exciting so I've been carrying that around then I, I need to warn you there is a lot of shit in my bag. I don't know what and uh, we're gonna find out so bear with. I also carry another university thing at the moment. This is just one of those clear like pop-up wallets and at the moment I'm gonna show you what I have in it. Some very very interesting things. First of all I have the UK corporate governance code because you know necessities. Then I have a powerpoint from the IASB staff day for IFRESH teachers from uh, 2012. Another necessity and then I have homework thing that I need to do uh, reminds me that I do need to do that. Bullet journal, first of all, uh, check out my last video for what is happening with that at the moment. I will link it up in the cards. Then my iPad mini, which I use for literally everything uni work related. This is my life. Then I have this pouch, okay? And this pouch is a lovely little pouch, which is completely ink stained at the moment. Uh, and I really need to wash it. And it also has about a bajillion things in it. So we're gonna go through them. My keys, a lipstick, a lip balm, some hand cream, some mints, a stick that apparently protects against blisters, an empty tissue packet, one painkiller, a pair of tweezers, my portable phone charger thingamajig, a pen, my stylus, a nail file, another lipstick, a nail clipper, my fidget cube, another painkiller, and this really soft little rock. Then I don't keep this in the pouch, but I do keep my phone just loosely in my bag as well as my tangled headphones. I also keep this pack of Pilot Juice Pens with me because they are the colours that I use for my modules, so I keep this with me. And on a similar note, I keep these model loaners with me as well because these are also the colours that I use for my modules. Then I have my pencil case. This is just from Muji and in it I have a binder clip, a Tipex Mini Pocket Mouse, a rubber, Muji 0.5 Mechanical Pencil, Muji 0.38 Black Gel Pen, Grey Mild Loaner, and a Click It ruler that I got when I was about eight. Then I have a tissue. I have my really really long phone charger because you're not always sat near an outlet and you know you still want to be able to charge your phone. Then I have my wallet which is a Filofax flex cover turned into a passport size traveler's notebook. I have a packet of tissues because as I said constantly sniffly and runny nose. I have a pen that I don't know where I came from. I have some whole soothers because I keep getting colds. Then I have this set of headphones, which someone got a freshers fair and left at our stall. And then I have a hair grip. Then I have this mess. This is why I'm doing this video, truly. And that's it for kind of the main pocket, but it does have a pocket on the side and that has some stuff in it as well. So I'm gonna show you what's in there. I have two different types of cereal bars. 
I always carry around cereal bowls because you never know when you get peckish. Then I have two chai tea bags and I usually keep some four red fruits tea in there as well. Then I have a sweets wrapper. I have an empty painkillers packet. I have a hairdresser's visiting card. I have my receipt from my ASOS return. I have the little booklet that came with the bag. I have an unbind clip, some more hair grips, a hairband and another rock. I also have some more hair grips and a massive ink stain because a pen leaked in my bag. But my bag lived back and it was a black pen, so it's all good. But that is it. That is all that is in my bag and my desk is now a mess. So that's good because that means that my bag used to be a mess but it's no longer a mess and uh, that's good as well. But yeah, that is all I carry around with me to and from university every day. I hope you think this was a little bit interesting. I'm quite nosy about these things. I really like what's in my bag videos. I hope you enjoyed it and I will just see you next time. I hope you have a great time and I oh, will see you then. Until then, take care. Said you need more space. What are you an astronaut?